OK, in this tutorial we're going to walk you through the creation of a very simple model in Google SketchUp and bring it into to MovieStorm via the Modders Workshop. So here's our Google work, uh, SketchUp workspace. I'm just going to move this over to the side and build a house in this space here. So using the rectangle tool, make the base for our house. And we're going to extrude that up about twice the height of our character in the foreground. OK, so now we can select the Rectangle tool again, draw a very simple door on the front of our SketchUp house, about the height of the uh, model in the foreground again. We can now drag from this point and create a simple window in the front here, and again on the other side we're going to make another window. like so. Again, to create the windows in the top we're going to use exactly the same process. We've still got the rectangle tool selected so we can use our previous windows as reference points to create the new window. So again, just get these to line up so that they all uh, line up with each other. And there we have our house with its windows. Just going to extrude the roof very slightly here, just so that we can select this top face, use the uniform scale tool, and just make it a tiny bit bigger, like so. We can now select the extrude tool again, extrude that up to about the height that the roof would be, rotate around our view so we can see a little better select the top face and again using the uh, uniform scale tool we'll just scale that in like so and there we have our ba very basic house okay so get some brick text uh, textures apply it to the walls like so and then we'll go to our translucent materials and just make the glass at the front of the windows there we can now select wood textures, select one of these woods and apply it to the front door. Lastly, we've got some roofing to go up the top there. Oops. So we'll just select a basic roof texture and assign it to all the faces like so. Now the final thing that we want to do now that we've created our house is to get rid of the, uh, the model at the front here. So we just delete her. We're now going to uh, save our model, give it a suitable name and save it somewhere, a familiar location. So I'll call this New House and we have to save that as a SketchUp version 6 file and save it like so. Okay, so now we're in the Models Workshop, we'll just have a look around our workspace here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the Wizards to uh, import our SketchUp model. So we click on Wizards and we're going to import from SketchUp 6, like so. We're going to make a new add-on here. So in the new add-on uh, space here, we're going to call this House. And then we just click on the Create button to create our new add-on. Click on the next button here and we're going to import a file with the browse button. Okay, so we saved it on the desktop, so we've got new house SketchUp model here and just click OK. The movie storm name we're going to put Amos underscore house so that we know how to find it when it gets into movie storm. We'll click on the next button, we've got a few options here. We obviously want to weld the vertices and uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is set the scalable property just in case it comes in and it's not quite the right size we can then choose to rescale it in MovieStorm. We'll generate the material files also. So clicking on the next button and as you can see if we just zoom out a little bit here we've created our house in the Models Workshop 
and we just got a few other things to sort out. Firstly, we'll click the finish button so that it finishes the, ex uh, the import process. Okay, so once we've uh, finished the import, we get this little information box telling us what it's done. And we can just close all of that. Okay, so now we just want to make a couple of changes. So uh, we're going to scroll down and select the house add-on at the bottom of the um, show add-on menu here. And once that's selected, we can now go into the uh, models folder, props folder, and we'll go to Amos House here. Now we want to change the materials, so we're going to go into the templates folder, come down to the materials here, and I just want to make some of these materials two-sided, just so basically we can see the inside of the house through the glass. So we just select the material and select the two-sided tab for each material, like so. We save that and we get a nice little preview of our house. Okay, so the final thing that we need to do, just close all these dialogues, is log in with our publisher name and password. Like so. And we need to publish this pack. Now we don't want to check the checkbox for requires license to use. We just want to click publish. And we get the message saying that it should be now available in MovieStorm. So let's close the modders workshop and open MovieStorm and let's see if we have our prop. So we'll go to a new movie. We'll start with a uh, MovieStorm template. And we'll use an empty set. Alright, we'll go straight into our uh, props browser. And we'll filter it by the add-on name that we called it. So we we'll just look in here for house. There we go. Click on that. And there you can see our SketchUp house. We'll just drag that onto the set like so. And you can see that we've still got the scalability option there if we wanted to make it larger or smaller. So now, just to check the scale of the item, create a default character, and then place him on the set. And you can see basically that our house is near enough the right size 